need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. You can save your OneNote pages, sections, and even entire notebooks in different formats to share with others. When you're ready to save content, click the File tab in the ribbon to enter Backstage View. Then click the Export command on the left, which is called Save As in version 2010 and earlier. In the Export Current section here, called Save Current in 2010 and earlier, you can click to select Page to export or save just the page you had selected, section to export or save just the section you were in when you entered Backstage View, or notebook to export or save the entire notebook. Now if you select to export or save only a page or section, you'll be presented with several format options in the Select Format section from which to choose over on the right. Now it's important to know which application and version the person you will be sharing the content with will be using to view it. Otherwise, they may not be able to open it. For example, if you export or save the content in a OneNote 2010 to 2013 format and a person tries to open it with an earlier version, they will likely encounter difficulty. The same applies if you choose to export or save the content as a Microsoft Word document the viewer would need the correct version of Word installed on their computer to open and view it. If you choose to export or save the entire OneNote notebook, you will only have three format choices, but here you can export or save the notebook as a OneNote package which will save all of the content and OneNote organization such as the sections, pages, and subpages. There are also options to export or save your content in universal formats for easy viewing. OneNote 2010 allows you to save a file in an MHT format, which is a web page format that can be viewed with web browsers such as Internet Explorer and Firefox. But you can also export or save in PDF, which stands for Portable Document Format, and can be viewed with Adobe Reader. XPS is a Microsoft format which can be read with the XPS Viewer. Now both Adobe Reader and XPS Viewer are free downloads from Adobe.com and Microsoft.com respectively. Let's go ahead and save here. We'll go ahead and save this section to a PDF because once you have selected the format in which you wish to save or export your OneNote content, you just click the Export or Save As, if you're using an older version, button to launch the Save As dialog box. Then you navigate to the location where you wish to save your content. Now you can change the name of the file by typing a new name into the file name text area here if you like. In this dialog box you can also change the file type in the Save As Type drop-down just below it. And you can also change what content to save in the Page Range section by clicking on one of those buttons if you prefer. But when you're ready you just click the Save button to finish saving your OneNote content to the location of your choice. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.